Okay, this video is for King TV representatives. Um, I'm filming this to see why I'm getting the vertical bounce up and down. And I was told by Kimberly, I believe her name is, to record this video. So I guess your technicians could see it and give me some advice on how to get rid of that. I don't know if it's my footing or the actual bouncing. So before I was using the uh, Canon 5D Mark III with a Tokina 11, no, 16 to 28, which was a very heavy lens. But now, um, now I have the GH4 with the Olympus 12 millimeter, which is a prime lens. So as far as this balancing, so far this is okay because I'm guessing because it's a lighter camera. So this is not the problem. Also balancing this way, it's not a problem as well. It's not going back or forward. It seems to be staying in the same place. And I guess as far as the roll, that's okay as well. Because whenever I turn it, it stays in the same place. And the yaw portion, which I guess if we try to center it right here, the yaw portion, when I lean it forward, let me see. When I lean forward, it seems to be staying in a place it's supposed to be staying. I try to level this um, portion right here as straight as possible. I know before I had it a little bit balanced to the left, but I've tried to keep it straight, kind of like a 90 degree angle. So when I did, did this lift test, it didn't go to the right or the left, kind of stay center. But I just wanted to keep it short because I know the other videos I did were pretty long. So everything seems to be balanced. I'm using this battery that um, M from Cheesy Cam suggested. So when I actually do plug it in, let me see what happens when plugging in. I actually do plug it in. Start it up. So that's what another thing I'm noticing too, because um, this portion is not leveled. It seems to be more or less leveled to more to the left than actually leveled evenly. So I don't know if that's a balancing issue as well. Maybe you guys can help me out on that. But um, when I do fly it, it does seem like um, it's more leaning towards the left side than the right side because if you can see it if we line up king tv to where is it it feels like it's on an even horizon you can see that this side over here is a little bit linked to the left more than actually this side so i don't know what's causing that even though when you know you saw in the video just before that everything seems to be balanced how the internet specifies it so this is the i'm gonna end this video and so you can just see that that's the portion I'm dealing with now as far as how I've balanced everything. So if I'm doing something wrong or if you have any suggestions to where I can get rid of that vertical bounce, um, please let me know. So in the next video, I'll show you the actual footage of what I shot. Okay, this video is for um, the King TV technicians or anybody that can help me on YouTube. Um, as you can see from the, the first video we took, we're on the sidewalk. And what I've noticed is a lot of shake in the gimbal. So this gimbal's not running as smoothly as I see from other YouTube videos or even Vimeo videos. So um, you can see there's a lot of shake in uh, the vertical movements. So um, in these first two portions of the video, you'll see um, the, the shake I'm actually talking about. So as we proceed, I did a running test, and then with this running test, just to see if it would be similar to what I see on other, like I said, YouTube and Vimeo pages. So as you can see with the video, um, running test, it's completely shaky. There's no smoothness in the video. And then lastly, I did another running test to where it's just to see if it was more on rougher terrain, because this is grass versus a sidewalk. And you can see still, you know, still a lot of shake. So I'm looking for advice as far as if it's a balancing issue from 
the first portion of the video you saw or if it's actually a PID issue that I need to solve or is it a weather condition so any help also included links to other videos that I saw that actually are using the came 7 7800 and they're running kind of flawlessly and you see that they're smooth so I'm trying to achieve those same results so anything I can do to do that or any advice you guys can give me would be worth a million so I don't know if I have a defective machine or if I'm doing something wrong on my end so please let me know thank you